This video is part of a full video training series on starting your first website and is provided by webhostingchoose.com. In this video lesson, I'll show you how to change your domain's DNS name servers to point to InMotion Hosting or to the web host you've chosen. This step is very important because it tells the internet where your hosted files are located. If you skip this step, your web host will not be able to display your website. If you took advantage of the free domain offer from InMotion Hosting in the previous training video, you can skip this step and move on to video 4 above. By registering your domain name during the sign-up process, you have the advantage of InMotion Hosting pre-configuring your name servers for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Once you've signed up to InMotion Hosting, you'll receive three emails from the company. The first email is this one here, which explains they need to verify that you meant to make the purchase for security purposes. You can either wait for them to call you, or you can call them with the 1888 number that they provided. Once you have verified your account, you'll receive two more emails that welcome you to their web hosting service. The next email you'll see is this one, which shows Welcome to InMotion Hosting. This email is important because it gives you the link and access credentials you'll need to log into the account management panel. Click this link right here and that will take you to the account management panel, which will show you the name servers you need to use. The last email you'll get is this one, which is your receipt. As you can see, I purchased the two-year launch plan for $142.80. Let's go ahead and log into the account management panel with this link here. I already have it loaded, so I'll just minimize that, and here we are. Once you type in your password and email address, click Login. And then from here, scroll down, and you'll see this section which shows technical details. Click the Details link, and on this page, you'll see Name Server 1 and name server 2. Now all web hosts provide a similar process that you can use. Whenever you sign up for other web hosts such as Bluehost, HostGator, or any other company, you'll often have the name servers provided to you either in the email or via their backend panel such as what InMotion Hosting has here with their account management panel. Now, let's go ahead and show you the process to change your name servers in GoDaddy. Okay, this is the GoDaddy.com main page. And from here, you'll just log in to my account. So click there, and then type your username and password, then click Log In. Now, once you're logged in, you'll see this My Account and Hi, Your Name listed. We want to change our name servers, so we'll go to All Products, then Domains, and then scroll over to Domain Management. Click on that, and then you'll end up on this screen here. Now, in the list, you'll have to scroll down. I've already done it. Just scroll down to your domain that you want to change. This is the domain, webhostingtraining.com and it shows ns47.domaincontrol.com. This needs to be changed to the InMotion name servers they provide. So we'll click on the domain, which will take you to this page here. In this section, you want to either scroll down here to where it says Set Name Servers, or you can do it from this right here, which has name servers listed, 
Just click on set name servers. Now on this new screen, you want to set I have specific name servers for my domains. And once you click that, you'll have these two fields here that you'll need to change. These are the default name servers that InMotion Hosting wants you to use. So once you've done that, go ahead and click OK. You'll see it says it'll take up to two hours to make the change, but it may take 48 hours for these changes to take effect. Go ahead and click OK, and you're finished.